Hello, I'm David Kling, and welcome to your 40-day prayer journey using Martha Grace Reese's book, Unbinding Your Heart. Today is week four, day two. So open up your prayer journals to page 141 and open your Bibles to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter three, the whole chapter. This is the story of Jesus's baptism. But before Jesus is baptized, the story shows us a panoramic view of hundreds of good church-going uh, followers of God in the time of Jesus who are all lining up by the banks of the River Jordan so that they can say, I'm sorry to God. They can repent to God, go under the water by John the Baptist, and when they come up, live their lives in a fresh new way for God. You may have been going to church for many years, but that still doesn't make you perfect. Each of us has things in our lives, burdens that weigh us down, mistakes we've made, worries we have, um, sins we've committed. These kinds of things make it difficult for us to follow God's call. They don't prevent us from receiving God's salvation, but they can make it harder for us to follow God's deep purpose for our lives to share our faith with others. The good news is that we don't have to be perfect. We can receive God's forgiveness. We can feel his cleansing water of baptism. Today, I'd like you to just turn the faucet on a little bit, any faucet, your kitchen, your bathroom, and pass your hand under the water. Each time you do that, think about something in your life that needs to be cleansed away a mistake, a worry, something that you've done wrong. God forgives you. He takes that away. He cleanses you and he sets you free to be a messenger of his good news. Each time you wash your hands today, remember the forgiveness that God offers you through Jesus Christ. He's cleaning you so that you can be an effective tool an instrument of peace in his hands. I hope you enjoyed today, and I can't wait to hear what happens next.